So let's talk beards for a second. <clears throat> shaving is sort of a losing battle. Shaving, uh, you know that it's gonna grow back, right? And you do it anyway. And I go to my mom's place and she's like, Adam, I see that you are getting um, like a rash. I, I, at one point, I guess I had just shaved and I went over there and I had something like a red mark here. It might have been the beginning of some pimples or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's not there now. I'm talking like last week. But anyway, she's like, you should go get uh, an eczema. And I looked at her and I'm like, mom, like, I know that you're trying to be nice and all that and help me. But like, this is why I don't shave because it's like you have to go buy razors. You have to go buy shaving cream. And now it's aftershave and noxema. And I'm being sold this list of products for what? Because our society has told me that I should have a clean shaven face. Like me bearded or me like this. It's sort of up to societal cultures that, that would say like what looks better, right? So I've, for the last 10 years, have had a beard on my face. And I'm used to having a beard on my face. I'm not uh, insecure about my looks. I'm not, um, I don't really care, honestly. I don't really care one way or the other whether I have a beard or not. I know that there's girls out there and ladies, there's ladies out there that think that bearded guys look good and there's girls out there that think that guys that are uh, shaved face look good. But here's my problem as a guy is that I can't get a clean shave. There's no razor out there that will get it clean enough that it won't grow back in like two hours. So like if I slept tonight and woke up, I would have the beginnings of a city, what I would call a city man, city man's beard. Pardon my lisp. Um, so today is January 31st and I am going to uh, discontinue my shaving uh, today. So I will have my regular beard back uh, probably by tomorrow or tomorrow night, I'd assume. Like it's going to be growing in. This is like, honestly, this is this morning. You know, and it's basically a beard again, or a city man's beard. You know, you've been, let's do it this way. You know, what I would call a city man's beard. It's not exactly five o'clock shadow, it's five o'clock city man's beard. <laughs> so you see my point, there's no point in shaving. And here's a, a little heads up to all you guys out there that are, or going through puberty or whatever and thinking about shaving and or maybe you've shaved your entire life and not really known why um, they sell you like um, those pimple products like uh, whatever you can think of, of them yourself okay like uh, oxy whatever and insert your favorite pimple product here my point is you have little hairs poking through your flesh all over your face that you're shaving and it closes over a little membrane and then it pokes through again your skin you know your pores are open or closed and you constantly are shaving which is itself dragging a razor across your face and then you have your hair like if you imagine this on a microscopic level you have like a tree coming through breaking through ground and you're doing this every day or however often you shave. Maybe you do it so much that you don't realize it, but like, I don't have pimples. You know, I do have big pores, I'll give myself that, but I don't really get pimples. And when I was younger, I did get a lot of pimples. Um, not so much that that's why I grew a beard. That's not the case. Um, I had pimples like in, uh, in, in grade six, I'm talking, but. I don't really get pimples now, but I can see why, because when I shaved, I was getting like rashes or red things, and I can see why. It's because you are, it's like ingrown hairs, but it's not ingrown, it's coming out, so you're creating like this irritation and rash every day, as long as you shave. Now, uh, and this could all be avoided by not shaving. 
So the question you got to ask yourself, why do you shave? Do you shave because you think it looks good? Do you shave because your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whoever thinks it looks good? Because this is your body and you're being sold this l bill of goods, literally. You're being sold like however many products, like how many products do you use right now to shave your face? So razors in itself and the whole, you know, just razors itself, it's a big business. So when you're in a big business, you find reasons to legitimize yourself. You advertise, you do, you think you make other people uh, think that they need your services, right? So like, I've been shaving for the last month and I've noticed, you know, obviously I'm noticing it more. I'm noticing, wow, I'm shaving. Wow, I need, look at my skin. And now I'm like, I could get all these other things and get aftershaves and better razors and, uh, you know, Um, then you start advertising if you're in that company you would advertise your product your razor products because you're making millions of dollars so it's a business now my point is shaving or not shaving is up to you don't let anybody else tell you that you need to shave your face as a guy I'm a guy and I uh, don't want to shave my face. Uh, I, I shave my face once a year to see how my skin looks and see Yeah, wow, I look 10 years younger. I'm 30 years old and don't look at some people say but I Don't like shaving. I'm not a classic Westerner I guess in that sense um, So I'm not gonna shave my face. Maybe I'll do it once once a month or once a year. Once a year is what I've been usually doing. So, January 31st, and I'm going to be growing my beard back, and that's my choice. You do whatever you want to do, and I'll do whatever I want to do. All right, all right. Let's spin the magic wheel of the cannon. Nope. This is actually pretty neat. What if I did it like this?